We are going to be doing a February and March Ipsy unbagging. So if you guys want to see what I got in my February and March Ipsy bags, then just keep on watching. Okay, so, so yeah, for that's me the get month it of February, this is the bag. It's pink with red kisses all over it. Super, super Valentine's Day themed, which I love. So let's move on to the products. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Daisy and Pearl Natural Radiance Boost. It is a highlighter, and this is what it looks like. It's white packaging, there's the box, and it's what I'm wearing now. So, yep, yeah, and that is super, super pretty. I freaking love this highlight, and um, yeah, watch the video to see how it performs so the next thing i got is the multi extra repair cream from lab for you it's a moisturizer for your face and neck then i got the royal and lang nickel moda pro uh highlighter brush super pretty i love the handle it feels really nice to hold i also got these sir medic face sheet mask so yeah and the last thing i got in my February bag was the Laga Prickly Pear Lip Gloss. Oh, it's a pH gloss, but it's a lip gloss. So, yeah. Moving on to my March bag. And also, I'm going to mention that I love how they are incorporating like these little pamphlets now. Super, super cute. So, for uh, March, I got the morphe uh bronzer it's a mini obviously and the shade blogger and i kind of broke the box so yeah then i got the space case eyeshadow in messy loch ness also kind of broke this box but yeah and this is what it looks like and then i got the sand and sky australian pink clay pore refining face mask super cute and I can see that it's like full up to here compared to this moisturizer, which is full up to here, which I like that. Like if you're going to give a sample, give enough for me to develop an opinion on it, you know? Then I got the Ciate London Mini Lip Luster in Kiss Me. Super pretty color. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like the Libra color, like light baby pink. So yeah, and last but not least, I got the Lord & Berry Veludo Eye Pencil in Supreme Green. And yeah, I pretty much have all of this stuff on my face right now. So if you guys want to see how these products apply to the face and, you know, the trial and, and demoing um, part of this video, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have my eyebrows done and my eyelids are primed and... Yeah. So the first thing I'm going in with is from the February bag and it's the Multi X Repair Cream from Lab for You, I think. That's what it looks like. It's too bright, but it's basically a moisturizer. Oh, look at the cute little seal. And also, I want to mention I put this in the light and literally it's this full like why even bother putting it in a tube this big if you're gonna put this much in it you know what i mean so some moisturizer i'm gonna apply some a little bit everywhere and i'm putting this on first so that while i do my eyeshadow it's sinking into the skin so okay this smells like medicine Ew. Oh, this smells so bad. It is, it isn't thick, like lotion thick. 
it's very like slippery if that makes sense but it does get sticky so and there's that so the next thing I'm using is from the March bag it comes in a little bubble wrap thing and it is from the brand Space Case Cosmetics and it's a single eyeshadow in the shade um, maybe I'll see if I'm going to but this is what the box looks like and this is the color it's like a forest green kind of the packaging is super cute it twists off kind of reminds me of ColourPop um, I already applied a transition shade and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid with a flat shader brush so taking this brush just gonna wipe it off it's not clean yeah you know probably not supposed to do that but whatever so i'm just gonna huh. it's a really deep pretty green and i don't think i have anything like this in my collection it looks a lot lighter on camera i will say that and this is going on completely dry i'm gonna wet the brush when i apply it on this eye just to see if that makes a difference so i'm gonna pick some lip Not that big of a difference so I would just go in with this particular formula try it doesn't really make a difference mm. and I think I'm just gonna add like a dark shade on the end this is a really pretty color So I'm probably just going to finish my eyes off camera and be back with the next product. Okay, so the next product is also from the March bag. This is a Lord and Berry <clears throat> eyeliner in the shade Super Green. So I'll just swatch. If you put it a certain angle, it looks green. So I guess I'm just going to put this in my waterline. super pretty it's not too creamy but it's not too dry either so i'm just gonna finish off my eyes throw on some mascara and falsies and i'll be right back with the next product the next product i got is also from the march bag and it is a morphe bronzer in the shade blogger look at how freaking cute this is so this is what the package looks like and i'm just going to use this to bronze I'm just going to go in with it. It's a bit powdery. I freaking love this shade. The next thing that I got is from the February bag and it is a highlighter. It came in this bubble packaging with tape, which, you know, 
just love when they do that and this is from the brand daisy and pearl it's a natural radiance booster it says seraphine botanicals so i'm not sure what the brand actually is but this is the packaging it is super cute this is also vegan gluten this is also vegan, gluten-free, and GMO-free, so I guess that is good. Oh, this is super cute. It comes in like a white little plastic compact. It has the name and information and stuff on the front. Oh, it has a little mirror. That is super cute. And this is the shade. So let's just give it a swatch. And that is my type of glow. So, also, this brush also came in the February bag. It's a Moda Pro, which is Royal and Lang Nickel, I, I believe. I'm saying that right, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a highlighter brush, super soft, and it has like this weird, like diamond type of handle super nice it feels nice like to hold so i'm just gonna use this brush to apply the highlight i'm gonna swirl it in there so i'm gonna apply it dry on this side and then wet on this side just to see if there's a difference that is so pretty. I think this is going to be like my new favorite highlight. It's like a rose gold champagne, but it has like a blue, bluish undertone when it hits the light and nothing too crazy. Nothing like a alien looking highlight or none of those crazy fruity colors, but it looks super icy and pretty on the skin. Alright, so I'm going to dip back into it and then apply it wet on this side. It is a bit more int intense when you wet it, so... Yeah, I freaking love this. So I'm gonna apply it wet to the rest of the face and speed it up for you guys. super freaking loving that okay so the last thing is lips i set my face so that's why i look super wet um so from the february box i got this laga prickly pear i'm assuming it's a lip gloss but it's just like super pink um so i'm not sure and then from my march box i got I mean, my March bag. I got the Ciate London Lip Luster. I have this in the shade Kiss Me. And it's like a super pretty pink. So I'm going to try both of them and just see how that goes. First, I'm going to apply the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick in the shade Slay Tan. It's like a brown. So yeah, let's do that first. So I'm going to put this one on first. Oh, that feels nice. Oh my god, I freaking love this. It's not pink, it's like translucent, so I like that. And I guess I could throw a bit of this on top. Also, this is not like sticky, it's like nice and creamy. Oh, it makes my lips look so juicy. I love it. Okay, so let's try the Ciate one. I 
I can't really tell because I already have this one on, but they both feel really comfortable, if that makes any sense. So I really like this one and I'm going to have to try this one out again on its own, but so far so good. And that is everything. I'm going to add some inner corner highlights, some brow bone highlight, and I will be right back with my final thoughts. First, I'm going to start with the February bag and then move on to the March bag. So the first thing that I got in my March bag was the Cinematic Sheet Mask. It comes with two, if I'm not mistaken. And I didn't do these because I typically don't do masks on camera. And if I do, it's like a clay one. But even then, it's like super rare. So yeah, it comes with two of them. And this one says Vital Collagen. And this one says Age Control Multi Vita Vita. So I will try these off camera and I will try to keep these guys updated down below in the description bar. The second thing was the Multi Extra Pair Cream from Lab For You and it was a nice moisturizer, did what it was supposed to do. Um, it does say that this is for dry skin. Um, it says it soothes, repairs, and hydrates. So it did feel nice on the skin and yeah it's a moisturizer so i like it um the next thing is the daisy and pearl natural radiance booster the highlighter i am in love with this this is actually one of those products that i would most definitely purchase the full size this is a decent sample size as well so if i ever run out of this i will be repurchasing like do you see that glow it looks super like wet i freaking love it um i think this is going to be taking the place of my new favorite highlighter next is the royal and lang nickel glow brush um it applied my highlighter super nice i normally use the aoa f19 highlighter brush and as you can see this one's a bit smaller but I actually think I like this one a lot better. Um, I highly recommend this brush. Look at, oh, do you see that though? Oh, come on. So yeah, I like that as well. And the Laga lip gloss is super, super freaking pretty. Like look at my lips, look at my lips. Don't they look so juicy? So juicy, so juicy. Um, as Kathleen Lights would say, um, yeah, my lips look super juicy, shiny. So yeah, and I love that it's not like this actual bright pink because this, if it was, it's probably something I wouldn't gravitate towards, but this is definitely going in my purse. <laughs> also, and it's not like stringy sticky and it's not thick. It's like nice and creamy. Highly recommend and I would definitely purchase that. And the bag as well is super cute. So yeah, so I really liked everything in that bag except for the mask of course because I didn't get to try them. So let's move on to February's box. Okay, so first is the Ciate Lip Luster. I wasn't really able to tell, you know, let's just swatch it. So I'm going to swatch it right here. it does have like the pink tint to it but not too crazy and it has like specks of pink glitter in it so I'll have to try that on its own but when I mixed it with the lava one it didn't like do anything crazy so yeah I can't really give you my full thoughts on that next is the Lord and Berry eyeliner in the shade supreme green um it's a decent size, super pretty color, but I do feel like I need to add more. I like my waterlines to be super dark. I like it, it's really pigmented and yeah, super pretty color. You wouldn't really be able to tell that it's green from far away, but I'm sure that if you look up close, you can definitely see the green. The Space Case Single Shadow in messy blackness i think i forgot to say it in the video but the shade is messy blackness if you can see it on 
how it's spelled right there. But yeah, this super pretty green shade. I love this look. This is more or less like a fall look for me. But, you know, I like it still. And I would still rock it whenever I want to. So I freaking love this. This is definitely like five stars. Um, the Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger. Oh, my cheeks though. This bronzer is such a pretty shade. It blended out really nice. It looks really good on the skin. And I highly recommend. Like, why not? Super cute. And if I was to run out of this, I would definitely buy the full size. Um, it kind of looks like the shade Enemy from my like full size um, Morphe bronzer and highlight palette. So that's a similar shade um, but yeah I like that shade too but I like this one a bit more because it's just a tad bit like warm and lighter and it fits my complexion perfectly fine so yeah this was also a five stars for me and the last thing from my February box is the sand and sky Australian pink clay core refining face mask this is for detoxifying and brightening I did not get to try this because again, I don't really normally do mask on camera, but later when I take my makeup off, I might um, record it and apply this afterwards because I do like to do a mask after I remove my makeup and I will probably try to insert a clip, but if not, I will try to keep you guys updated down below in the description box. So yeah, and that is everything for my March bag. And this is what the bag looks like and off she went to change the world is what it says how freaking cute I love this like chrome look to the bag so yeah that is everything so that brings this video to an end I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you did enjoy if you have not subscribed to join the Rose family then don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you guys go Hit the bell right next to it so you guys can stay notified every time I upload. And if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below and I will reply ASAP because I have nothing else to do. And that is it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!